easy. You know, it feels like little mosquito bites, maybe not even that bad. And this is actually one of the more tender areas you can do, and you'll see that it's really not even that bad. So I'm wiping her with some alcohol now just to get her cleaned off. Okay. And I actually have the Botox in two separate syringes because I'm doing two sites. And I'm going to come onto this side so that everyone can see. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm actually right-handed, okay. but I come to this side because I kind of squeeze her just so that she's a little more comfortable. Okay. So I'm going to have you turn just slightly towards me, hun. And then what I do is I'm going basically just lateral to where her little Cupid's bow is because I want to get her to kind of pop out just like that. So I'm going to give her a nice little squeeze here. And here we go. One, two, three. And that was the first one. All set, and right? How much product was that? <laughs> that was one unit of product. So just, just a... Just a hint of product there, Exactly. Huh? And then I'm going to do one unit on the other side. All right. So same thing here. I'm just going to give you a little pinch. And this is for her comfort. One, two, three. This is a live injection, everybody. We have a live and doctor, that's it. a live patient, live needles, and then we're done. Yes, that was like 10 right. seconds. And I do see a teeny drop of blood. That's normal, of course, a teeny drop of blood, yes, right? Yes, totally normal. This okay. is about as much bleeding as you mm -hmm. get with Botox. You know, we always say when we stick a needle in the face, there's a chance for bruising and swelling. But typically, a bruise with Botox is going to be very minimal, kind of like a little blemish. Right. 